If you like mind-boggling, psychedelic visuals that somehow feel like they explain the nature of reality, then you've stumbled into the right video. Because today, we're talking about two very different types of visuals that you can get when tripping that I literally cannot find another video on YouTube talking about. Psychonaut Wiki defines different levels of visual intensity that you might get from a trip. But what's really interesting is that level 8, the last level, actually splits off into two. And after reading the descriptions, I can personally confirm that they're almost as accurate as The Simpsons. And real quick, this video doesn't promote the use of any substances. It's made purely for educational reasons with some funny jokes sprinkled in to keep you guys addicted to my videos instead of drugs. So level seven is where we find a typical breakthrough dose where your visuals are so intense that they begin to completely replace your reality even with your eyes open. Whilst at this level, things are pretty intense, you know, just a little bit. Obviously, if you've never been to level eight, you've never actually had a proper trip. Whilst they can be powerful, the visuals at level 7 tend to have inconsistent clarity as to what they mean or what they're pointing to. You might see some crazy four-dimensional shape twisting and warping, but its mechanism and meaning isn't always apparent. Level 8 geometry is not just seen, but clearly felt through physical and cognitive sensations that feel as if they depict specific concepts and neurological processes that exist within the brain. Let's try and explain what this means in English. And before we move on, again, this is possible at lower levels, but it's not as consistent or intense. 8A often feels like you're being exposed to clear representations of your internally stored concepts and processes. For example, someone in this state who for whatever reason thinks of aliens is going to immediately see that concept manifest in their experience, and it will then start to branch out into related concepts, kind of like a spider diagram. For example, from aliens we might branch out into space, life, my face, and really an infinite amount of potential related topics. Then the new topics are going to do the same thing. For example, space might branch out into galaxies, planets, stars. Life might branch out into mammals, birds, fish, insects, mushrooms, you get the idea. Each of these concepts are related to each other in some way, and if you made a giant map and wrote them all out, you would probably find it looks a lot like a neural network. Good luck drawing it though. Our video budget isn't quite there yet. Think of it like seeing your brain's hard drive. You're experiencing this massive tree of all of these concepts and the connections between them. Like folders within folders, except each folder eventually links back to each other folder in some way, kind of like a feedback loop. As you increase the dose, it can become easier to trigger and last longer with the ability to see more concepts and connections simultaneously. Level 8B is more like looking at your mind's CPU. You get to experience the deep inner mechanics behind why things are the way they are. The organization, structure, and programming behind your conscious experience is understood, and many report feeling as though they understand the inner workings of consciousness, the universe, and reality. For example, someone might see and feel a complex network that creates each of their thoughts as they have them. This network will often be innately readable, and experiences of undeniable truth about the nature of reality are common. Though it's worth noting that after the trip is over, you might not understand the experience and or consider it to just be completely delusional. If 8A is this neural network spider diagram thing, then 8B is the mechanism behind it. For whatever reason, there's a fairly consistent trend in which psychedelics give you what type of visual experience at these levels. Stimulating ones like LSD and 2CB typically give you 8A geometry, while sedating psychedelics like mushrooms, DMT, and LSA typically lead to 8B. Of course these will overlap, but in my experience this trend is actually fairly consistent and it explains quite a lot of my nitrous trips. If you want to hear about that combination, I'll leave you an end screen, and if you've got two seconds, then hit that like button for me so more people get to see these cool patterns. Lots of love to all of you, peace.